Uh, hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry solving day five of the Leak Code Dairy Challenge live. Uh, solving live, so things might happen. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Today, we're going to do all elements in two binary search tree. Uh, okay, so given two search trees in sorted order. Okay, so actually, I think it's pretty. Uh, so if, I, if it's competitive programming, I, I would uh, just do something like this where where I just do a depth of search for the two trees, uh, sort it, and I'll be done. It'll be end log n. Uh, let me do that real quick. Uh, I do want to... I'll talk about different ways to upsolve it later, but um, but yeah. Um, and a couple of optimizations that you can do as well. Um, hmm. Let's do it this way. Left. Uh, that value and then yeah, just standard in order uh, traversal. And then now we just do um, A1 is equal is equal to do do dfs uh, uh, one root one uh, we got to do, do the same thing for uh, array two and then now uh it's easy to do something like you know sorted a1 plus a2 uh, and i think this should be good uh but i'll, I'll upsolve it in a second because um okay so yeah, so what is the complexity of this well that first search is going to be o of n uh and you know uh, and given n is the number of roots, we only look at um, we look at each node at most one, so it's going to be linear. Uh, and then the sorted will make it n log n, right? Uh, so I'm going. So I'm relatively sure this is correct. And you know, uh, are there more test cases? Actually, there are. So let's test more test cases before I say that. Uh, but um, but I'm relatively confident this is correct, and I would have submitted it already in a contest. Um, well, I would also you, in contest now. There's you know the one code button or something. So, um, but that's that. I missed the second to last one. No, this is the second to last one. Uh, okay. Uh, is that the same? Yep. So yeah, so I'm very relatively confident about this one. So yeah, again, this is linear time, uh, linear space, and n log n. Oh, sorry, linear time for the different search, uh, linear space, and then n log n for the sorting, right? Um, so we can actually get this down um, to linear time by noticing that uh, if you look at print a1 and a2, is because if you do it in, in order, and because they are already um, you know, it's a binary search tree. Uh, we actually get the two arrays in. Where, where are the two arrays? Oh yeah, you really, we already get the two arrays already sorted. So you just have to merge them, like in a merge sort or something like that. Um, so from that, we can actually implement that real quick. Um, yeah. So let's just do index one. Is equal to index two. Is equal to zero. Um, let's just do final array is equal to this. Uh, return array. Um, while index and i write this in my own way definitely there are other ways to do this so you know uh do it in your own way but th this becomes just merge sort um the the merge step of the merge sort so yeah if uh, one index one is greater than r2 index two uh on that append r2 index two index two and if you can, can do it shorter let me know how <laughs> I guess actually this doesn't have to be an else if it could just be else because if they're equal then it doesn't really matter which one you pick uh, and this is index one I have a typo and then now what we have to do is just uh, get, get the stragglers But 
I have to probably optimize this a little bit in terms of code uh, clearage because this seems very uh, error prone. But that said, it should be okay in this case. Uh, yeah, it looks still okay. So let's submit it. And cool. Uh, yeah, so linear time, linear space, you can't really do much better than that. Um, yeah, I think you can also, there's definitely a way you can do it uh, by using, um, instead of using a, a recursive based explicit, or sorry, implicit stack, we can probably do something with an explicit stack uh, and then just, you know, do uh, do a depth of search on move one and move two at the same time, uh, taking one bit at a time, uh, almost like, uh, what's it called, the Morris traversal, where you, you get one node at a time, but, you know, like getting a binary tree iterate or something like that one node uh yeah one node at a time from the uh, the both of those tree nodes and basically it becomes merging in that case uh i didn't do it that way but yeah so definitely definitely um something to think about and something for upsolving if you're into that uh but yeah that's all i have for today's problem let me know what you what you think hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord and i will see y'all tomorrow